Dave from the Redneck Garage. Well, if you've been watching our videos, you know that we've got the motor set into the frame. And today I'm going to be cutting off uh, one of the steering brackets that's in the way to be able to get uh, the motor mounts mounted down and welded on. And uh, then we can actually roll the frame underneath the truck. I'm about at that point. So let's get started on that. Here it is. Here's my Google Nexus 5X phone. We're going to take a look at it. It's got the new charger the C charger which is supposed to be faster and there it is there's a new phone super cool okay Google what is a Jeep Jeep a small sturdy motor vehicle with four-wheel drive especially one used by the military and something you gotta work a lot on <laughs> This is actually the bracket here that's in the way of getting my motor mount on, so I'm going to take a wire wheel and look for the uh, weld spots, and I'm going to cut it off, and uh, then I can measure it on the other one where it goes in, but this one's not as critical as certainly the motor mounts that go on, and I can measure um, where the motor mount should actually be from my old one that I saved. One side. I found out that the Milwaukee toolbox is shipped. Uh, it's going to be delivered here at the house, and I got all kinds of crap to clean up in here. And all my hoarding of years of tools and stuff, I'm going to have to go through my toolbox, get rid of some stuff. I've got one toolbox that's going away, so there's a lot of work that I got to do. <laughs> Thought to take a look at where we're at right now. Um, I've measured it from the edge of this to the edge of that. All right, I was able to take the old one and measure from here and here on the motor mount carefully which is five centimeters actually and then measure from here to here and I gorilla welded it up and that looks good now I've got to put my side plate on and this side will be done and then I can start getting my other side uh, straightened up. But this should be just about exactly where the old one was and it looks good. Alright, she's set in there. Randy's here! Yeah. Yeah. He's looking at the handiwork. Mm -hmm. She sit in there and that's about the only place it's going to go because once you get the other one rigid and you drop it down, it's going to, it won't go forwards or backwards or nothing like that. So that looks good. I'm going to weld her in and we'll be ready to roll this underneath the frame. Sounded good. Okay, so that's freaking awesome. The motor is in. I'll put a cover over it for tonight. We're going to do some pre-oiling, put the filter on, oil it up, uh, tighten up a couple of motor mount bolts, uh, spray a little black paint where the motor mounts are, but man, that's awesome. It's sitting in there and ready to rock and roll. I love it. All right. Awesome. So we've got our motor mounted in, and that is a great thing. <laughs> Hopefully this weekend I'll be able to roll it up underneath the cab. I'm going to probably put the exhaust manifold on, maybe the exhaust uh, system itself. Hang that on it real quick before we roll it underneath. But for all intents and purposes, we're ready to put her underneath and start putting fenders on and hoods and grills and all that other garbage. Uh, we've got a Rough Country from Mitch, a one-inch lift kit, uh, body lift, and that's going to be setting it down on the frame. And uh, then we can continue on finishing the Rough Country 3.25 lift, uh, and then we'll go from there. But got a good lick done, and it's been a long day, let me tell you. I'm going to have my Fat Man beer, Michelob Ultra, and 
sit back and look at the engine a little bit. <laughs> I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.